Hi everyone, this is Jenny. I'm back today with an unboxing. If you have watched me in the past or any of my old subscribers, I haven't made a video in probably a year. It's probably been that long. There's just, this past year has flown and we had a lot of family, this family deaths um, that kind of happened all at once. And then our puppy, our sad husky, he, um, he ended up passing away as well with a little, it was kind of a freak accident. So there was just a lot going on and I ha this just kind of all slipped my mind. So um, I'm back, I'm here today with an unboxing like I said. And it's kind of a sad one, but a good one. Um, so I had a clay and I had it for two years, I would say. My husband got it for me when we were in Aruba on our five year anniversary and I lost it two months ago. I don't know where I laid it, I must have laid it down somewhere. I'm not sure, I lost it. I loved it because it was, it was a gift for our five year anniversary, it had sentimental value and it was actually made from France because I bought it in Aruba. So sad, but I've been actually going the last two weeks with this cheap little plastic thing I found. It's like a business card holder. I have other wallets, I just, they're too, right now I'm carrying a little crossbody and they're just too big for them. So I feel lost without my clay and just carrying this around. I ended up um, purchasing what Louis Vuitton calls, I think, um, a look a four key holder but it's the men's version and it it's a little bit bigger than i think the original clay so if you're interested in me unboxing this little wallet and my thoughts on it just keep on watching thanks all right so i actually just ran home from work to meet the ups guy i knew he was coming around this time i wasn't sure I even asked my husband if he could get off early to get home to sign this. I did not want to miss it because we're actually going on a trip this weekend and I wouldn't have been here to get it tomorrow. So, in the little box. This is my first piece actually in the new packaging, so I'm kind of excited. I'm sad and replacing the clay because I really would love my clay back, but you know, I lost it. Okay, so card, thank you for shopping. My receipt, it actually just says key pouch on it. I bought it on the web. There's not a store by me. And the return voucher. All right, look at the pretty box. Sorry, it takes me longer to untie all this stuff because it's just so pretty in its original and I can never get it back to what it looks like even if I try to retie it but I kind of savor the moment of unboxing this. All right, you ready? Ooh. So here it is. I wish I had a normal clay to show you. Comparisons. Textile card. I guess it's a little protective thing in there. It didn't come with the product tag. Anyways, this one actually comes with silver hardware instead of the normal gold hardware on all the Damier you mean, which I knew that when I ordered it, so it's not a surprise. It's just different than all my other pieces. And then the clasp isn't like the, where you push down and pull out. 
it actually screws. You see? That's kind of neat. So it says Louis Vuitton on it. And it's actually, it's, it looks bigger. It looks like it could fit more keys, I guess, on here than my normal clay. And what I liked about it, which this is what kind of drew me to this, than repurchasing my normal clay, was that it zips to the side. You can see it goes all the way across. Oh, this is actually made in France. That's exciting. So anyways, let me actually go get my, one of my other clays, which, like I said, I have other wallets. I don't know why I'm not using them and using that little black thing, but let me go get my other clay. Okay. So, I do have this other, I guess, clay that I bought, used, like pre-loved. I've had this for maybe a little over a year. Um, it's a lot bigger than I guess a normal clay is, so it's kind of, maybe this defeats the purpose of comparing these, but this is how this compares. So I think the height of this is the same size as my normal, as a normal clay. I think it's just slightly longer. So you can see this clay is slightly just longer, slightly longer, but this one is taller. So this one to me is hard to put things in and take things in and out of because it's it's that harder, harder weather. It slipped my mind what this is called, but whatever. Um, it's just harder to put things in and out of here. I really carry this on occasions, like if I don't want to carry a purse somewhere, I'll slip just a card in here, have my husband carry my phone or my lipstick and go with this. That's why I have this. This is not a Louis Vuitton chain. It's um, off a website called Malto, but I got this chain to carry it with. Like a little wristlet is what I've made this into. But here's this. It has one Louis Vuitton square. On the back it has a little circle. Oh, that's where the keychain is, duh. And then um, it has a Louis Vuitton. This is Louis Vuitton on the keychain. I like the silver. Um, I read a lot of reviews before I read that bought this, and a lot of people didn't like the silver because they're used to, you know, the gold with it. But I like it. Um, one big piece that goes all the way around. Like I said, the zipper goes all the way around. Very smooth zipper, brown on the inside. Let me see how the cards fit. So right now, I just have my, my license and my credit card. So they go in like that. But we're gonna see, all right, we're gonna see what fits in here. So normally, I usually only carry about three cards. Um, I think this will carry actually quite a few cards. It just seems a lot thicker than my like, it just seems like it would fill a lot more. So right now, three cards in it is like nothing. So I'm gonna see if my keys fit into it. So on my keys, I have like a key fob. I have a really big penguin keychain. My gym ID, my work, my office keys. Um, I don't know if this will fit in here, actually. I might have to take the keychain off. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna fit in there. So let's just say I wanted to take my keep up. That actually fits in there. Let's see if it'll zip. Uh, it's a 
slightly tight. You see how it bulges right there? I don't really like that. I mean, it would work, but I don't want it to distort this. So, maybe if I leave it at the end. So if I leave it at the very end where it's a little wider down here because of the zipper, it's still slightly distorted. I'll probably just leave it out. Um, like I said, I don't want to distort this. I can hang it on this. It's a pretty bulky key, I mean. There. Got my clay back. I'm so excited. I, it's crazy how something so small, you don't think about how much you love it. And then once it's gone, I realized I used that clay every single day for everything. And don't get me wrong, I know it's very, I know it's very material, and it is a two two hundred dollar wallet, but I loved it. So this, um, this wallet is actually not $200, it's actually $250. So let me read, I'm on their website, that's why I'm looking at this. So it comes with, uh, it comes in this color, it comes in the graphite, and then it also comes in the, um, let me see. In the epi leather, that's what it, it comes in epi leather as well, in black and blue. It is 5.1 by 2.4 inches. So 5.1 by 2.4. I'm gonna take this key off real quick. And then, yep. It says it holds four keys, but I'm guessing that's just like keys and not the key fob. But there you go. I mean, I can update you guys with wear and tear on it as I use it because I'll probably be using this one every day like I did my other clay. That's my unboxing and small review of this men's four key holder clay or key pouch, whatever you want to call it. But thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, um, follow if you'd like, and hopefully I'll be making more videos soon. Thanks.